DC as TPC, I was preparing for violence. When I talk about being a oh, peaceful yeah, protest, I'm talking about against our government. If a, if a cop or law enforcement or anybody comes out, but if punks come in and try to hurt my people, I will be violent. There's no place to hurt me or my people. So you guys are rubbing that. You know, oh, this Christian movement, this Christian movement. Let me tell you what's Christian. Christian is not letting somebody hurt my people. All right? That's the best of Christians. Now, as far as Marcus Covenant, I have, or is that his name, Cop? Comic. Uh, yeah. As far as him, let me, I've, I've explained this over and over and over. Let me explain it one more time. For you in the back that don't have the IQ high enough to understand it, let me explain it one more time. All right? The, the man asked to come into our movement, and I said no. I said absolutely not. Because Trucker G, who you also accused of being a pedophile protector, Trucker G had kicked him out of the People's Convoy, and I respected that. Then I started having people come to me. Let me tell you the people I had come to me. One of them was a victim, a child victim of pedophilia. She said, I know pedophilia. The man's not a pedophile. I said, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Another lady came to me who has actually posed herself online in, in conjunction with the police department and, and acted like her 13-year-old niece, who this pedophile was coming after, posed as her 13-year-old niece and got him arrested and locked up. That's another one that came to me and, and, and told me that he is not a pedophile. They also told me that he was going through a bad divorce. Not that you care about this, but this is for the other people watching. But uh, he was going through a bad divorce. His ex-wife turned his stepdaughter against him and had him arrested for being a pedophile. The, the, they also told me that his daughter or stepdaughter wrote a letter after she was turned 18 years old, recanting her story, saying that she had been uh, coerced into saying that against him. The um, parole officer, I told him, I said, I, she said, uh, one of them told me, I will get the parole officer. The parole officer is willing to write a, a statement for him. I said, have the parole officer do it. So the parole officer wrote me a letter. And I read it on my live stream the other night. If I had my other phone, I'd read it. If I was, I'm on my, my main phone right now, or I'd read it to you again, stating that they encouraged him to be a part of this. They didn't mention 1776 by, by name, but they encouraged him to be a part of this movement, okay? Then Big D came to me, and I don't know. You guys talk about Big D being this big, bad, awful, horrible person. Big D came to me and said, I've known him since we were kids, the man's not a pedophile. Now, I violated one of my principles, and I regret that. I do regret that. It was a mistake on my part to violate my principles. I, but what happened is it came at me in reverse. Usually people come to me and say, uh, so-and-so needs to leave because this, this, and this. And I said, bring me the evidence, all right? This was a, a reverse of that. Somebody's wanting to come in. I should have said, bring me the evidence, bring me the letter. I didn't do that. Again, I'm in the middle of trying to, to start this movement, and I've got all these things coming at me. I'm literally pulling my hair out every single day with all the trouble that we're having getting this thing started. I made a quick decision based on the confidence I had in those people that I just described who brought that to me. All right? So I violated my principle, and I regret that because I don't like violating my principles, but I did. And I made that mistake since that, we have rectified that mistake, and you punks still are trying to destroy this movement over something that you really don't care about. You're just pissed off at this movement because we won't let you be a part of it because of this kind of behavior right here. We don't want that kind of behavior in our movement. As far as violence, let me tell you something about men. Men have to have the ability to be violent. You know why? Because that's what men are supposed to be when it's called for. You talk about Big D getting drunk and getting violent. Let me tell you what happens to Big D when he gets drunk. He becomes a lovable teddy bear until you provoke him. It doesn't matter if he's drunk. It doesn't matter if he's half drunk. It doesn't matter if he's stone cold sober. He's going to react the same way. When you call a man a rapist. Which point, that point. Sober, drunk, or half drunk. 
to act okay with that. Everybody talks about Big D being drunk the other night when Aunt got our Christina. uh, Christina uh, with the thirteen-year-old. I don't care. Like she is a a known liar. Uh, And why'd she stay married to that person for ten years afterwards? Ten, seven, seven to. Uh, 2007, 2011. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, about. I've, I've talked to these family. I've, I've talked I have to no these idea. I've, I've talked. You've talked to these you've talked to shunned wife who's about to be his ex-wife. I, yeah, I'm going to take that as yeah. credible. Thank you. I, I've got two ex-wives, trust cousin. me. I've seen his criminal history. I've seen the violence in it. I've seen the violence against children in it. Exactly. I, I, I don't a, know if it's violence against person. children. I'm, I'm hearing that's I, not I, true. I, I don't know. You. But, I but again, you. He was convicted. You, you, guys, you guys don't like this movement because Big D knocked your husband across the cooler, evidently. I don't know. And that was before this movement even started. And then you showed up at our yeah, movement that, the and very that has next nothing day. nothing to do with what we're doing. Very next day, that you show up at our that movement. Is, that has nothing. That has nothing yes, to do with it, what we're don't doing. Don't lie to me. No, I'm going to never lie to me. You just didn't show up at our movement. That has nothing to do with what we're doing. Very next day, that you show up at our movement. All right, you got to turn down your mic. Remember how you turned down your mic? 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 Is Red acting tough now? Is Red back in there acting tough? join us and and it's he's got feedback coming through and all kinds of bad stuff buffalo man straighten up now <laughs> straighten up buffalo man so anyway i'll uh, i'll let you know tomorrow what uh, directly, what raptors with Dom, about dominic i want i want to address something with that okay yes dominic would have civil conversations with us but he was the most loyal, like balls to the wall loyal member you have. Except maybe Raptor. That's, Raptor's pretty loyal too. Yeah. But, but, that's, that's but I mean, Dominic would have civil conversations with us, but there was no getting information out of him. There is no talking, like talking him out of anything. Like he defended you guys up and down, like staunch supporter. 100% on your guys' side. So, I mean, yeah, he would have conversations with us, which is what needed to happen in the first place. With, you know, no, so we no, went there we don't need to have conversations to start with. I'm through start having with. conversations. You guys are evil. You're about trying the to destroy day. The that's first good. Day. I have nothing to say to you. You notice this whole time. This is, the only reason I'm talking to you now is because out of respect to Wizzy and his, his live stream. I don't ever want to talk to you yeah, again. I'll never want to talk to Red I, again. I don't ever want to talk to Ant or Lori or, or any of the rest of you of your little crew that you've put together. I, you guys are freaking liars. You're freaking that. liars. So and you know you're liars. You're troublemakers. Every movement you've been in, you've been nothing but trouble. You're not going to be a part of this movement or any other freedom movement. Why? I don't want to be because a part of that movement. Believe me. Troublemaker. What's that? But I did want to clear. I said I don't want to be part of it. All right. Well, you did. I, I did for, want to clarify that about Dominic. Thanks for joining <laughs> so, us. No, I do got to get off of here. But uh, all right. Have a great night. Bye bye. All right. All right. Bye. <sighs> it's, it's, it's fascinating, Santa. It's fascinating to see how all of this works see how this has been going on <laughs> you got sound effect you really got to show me how to set up this studio <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that sound effects. What you were hearing was my phone ringing. I always use crickets oh. as my as my ringtone because on set it's embarrassing if your phone accidentally goes off. You use crickets, and it sounds like there's crickets on stage, right? Hopefully. Oh, okay, okay. It's not I'm a dead giveaway that it's a phone ringing. It's just crickets. But um, let me let me tell you let me let me tell you something else here. What's what's really disturbing about this entire thing? is to find out the people that are encouraging them to try to destroy us. I have came in, I've come across intel over the past few days that has broken my heart. People that I have been in conversations with, people that I have broke bread with, who are funding them and encouraging them to try to destroy 1776. Now let me explain something to you, Wizzy. This is a business. That's, that's, been a, a that's been a big controversy over the last couple of days I, on social media. You, you're aware of that. I am, <laughs> yeah, I am, I am suffering grievous financial loss because of that entire crew that showed up. They almost shut this movement down financially. We are in, we are in, we've never had a problem with money right. until they showed up. Again, a huge huge controversy because so many people can't understand what it takes for any left, right, center, whatever protest uh, has money, has funding in order for those protests to continue, to go on. And so many people are surprised that your movement being different is supposed to operate without funding. Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Because do you know what Antifa calls when they are grifting, which is what actually they do? Do you know what they call it? What? They call it mutual aid. They ask for (laughs) mutual aid. Uh, And that's how Buffalo Man, I'm going to tell you, please stop trying to get in. You're just making noise. I, I, we're, we're just having this conversation. Please stop. Thank you. All right. Um, but yeah, that's they call it mutual aid. But for them, it's okay. But if, if your movement's out there um, talking about raising money and, and doing what not to continue, uh, yeah. you know, you're the evil Santa Claus. They, they know that it takes money to make an operation like this work. It takes money. All right, and so what you're trying to do is to make us look bad for trying to make money. I'm not going to apologize for that. It takes money to make this work. I pull up to the fuel pumps. They, they don't. I can't walk in and tell them, "Hey, I'm here fighting for freedom. Can you fill up my tank?" No, they want my money. You know, if I go into to, like tonight, we we tore down the kitchen. I had to go buy 120 something dollars worth of hamburgers and French fries for my people because it took money. Now I I pulled that out of my account. All right. Because my people were hungry, and they worked hard all day long. Santa, you have to be careful. You sound like a cult when you say my people. They're my people, and I'm their people. (laughs) You're my people. (laughs) Well, I I, I believe... Everybody that knows me knows what I'm saying, and they know that I'm not a cult. And that is... is, is, One of the points I'm trying to make. They used to try to destroy this movement. Let me tell you what they hate. They hate that I'm a Christian. They hate that yes, I'm a real do. man. I've got two radical feminists but out wait, there. Can I the can I be there if I'm a woman and I'm not a Christian? Well, absolutely. Uh, uh, absolutely. The the, the the rumor mill has it that you can't be in the seventy six movement if you're not oh, religious, I'm... if you're not, you know, a true believer in Santa and everything that you believe in. You know, it's it's it, 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 again. Believe what you're going to believe. I can't make people not believe stupid right. stuff. But the freedom just, you know, allows them to believe that stupid stuff. Right? I, I, I come out on the lawn, and he was talking to me. He's, you know, what do you feel about, you know, gay rights? I said, I'm here for everybody's rights. There shouldn't be gay rights. There's just, just be rights. people in the back who didn't hear it. 
I'm so, <laughs> there shouldn't be gay rights. There should just be rights. You have a right to be a human being, to live your life as you so please. That's what's, that's the difference between a constitutional republic and democracy. Democracy wants equality. You can't, you can't, you cannot legislate equality, just like you cannot legislate morality. It's an, but you can legislate individual liberty, which is what a republic is. Individual liberty. That means you get to be whoever you want to be. I don't care if you want to, if you're if you're over 18 years old and you are a man and suddenly you want to be a woman, more power to you. Uh-huh. Right. But don't be pushing that down my throat and don't be going and trying to groom our children. Let me tell you something. This has done to me, busy. This is something that really pisses me off. This really pisses me off because again, I have been a child advocate for years. All of my life, I have been a child advocate. But the other day, I got invited to a protest in a certain part of the area here where a bunch of uh, transgenders are going to read books to children in a library. Now, I'm against that because they have no... Why are they doing that? Why are you reading books to children except for to push your agenda and to groom children into believing that this is normal? I'm sorry, it's not normal. I apologize if that offends you, but I'm going to stand on what is right and what is wrong. If a, if a, if a young girl looks in the mirror, Wizzy, if a young girl looks in the mirror and she sees a big fat girl in the mirror, but in reality, she's skin and bones and starving herself to death with anorexia, do we just say, oh, I'm so proud of you. You're so brave. You're so strong. You are... You." should be a spokesman for the entire world of women who are starving themselves to death thinking they are fat. No. We get them help because they're seeing something that isn't reality. Now, when a boy looks in the mirror and he sees himself as a girl, I'm sorry. That's not normal. You have something wrong with you. And now we have those kinds of people being protected why? Is it because they really truly care about that individual? No, they don't care about that individual. Yeah. They're trying to destroy the moral fabric of the American culture. That's what this is all about, is destroying America. The Western values that America has espoused, that has kept us the greatest nation on the face of the earth, they are trying to destroy Western culture. That's what it's all about. They have to bring this nation down for the entire world to fall under that tyrannical spell that they're trying to cast on us. It's about time for America